So video three, we're going to show you the input signal versus the output signal after it's been cleaned. So what we have here is a 109 hertz signal being generated. Um, and on the top of the oscilloscope, you can see a 60 hertz signal contamination uh, of that 108 9 hertz signal. Um, and you can tell that the signal to noise ratio, in this case, we have very little signal and lots of noise. We also have lots of noise in the background audio of this video clip, so I hope you'll excuse that. So we're going to turn off the adaptive cancellation, um, and you will see that the bottom signal conforms nicely to what you see on the top. Now we're going to turn on the adaptive cancellation, and it will cancel out the 60 hertz line and slowly converge, well, I wouldn't say slowly, to 109 hertz. Uh, which yeah, is more or less what we're looking for. Now we can play around a little bit with the amplitude yeah, of the yeah, signal. Yeah, if you watch the top, I will increase the signal to noise ratio and the bottom becomes better. So we can also go in the opposite direction and decrease the signal to noise ratio and we still get very reasonable results. We can also change the frequency and you will see that the bottom becomes greater as I change from 109 to 207 hertz and you can see it become less frequent as I go down to 40 hertz and furthermore you can change the amplitude uh, and do all sorts of fun things so it's a pretty robust system and once again the output is on the bottom and the input is on the top